All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Greases 12, where I've been uh, in this nice little house here trying to work to get a sweet thing to give to the god Ares as an offering up on the emerald block up there. Ooh, actually, this is perfect. Good timing with the reeds. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so my assumption, since it's said on here for the instructions, uh, where, where is it here? You must create a sweet and put it over the emerald. I assumed a cake, because the only sweets I know of in Minecraft are the cake, the pumpkin pie, and cookies. And, well, there aren't any pumpkins here, nor are there cocoa, so I'm guessing... Uh, the pie. Or not the pie, the cake. The cake. <laughs> oh, oh, I need to sleep. But, uh, yeah, so we were given this little area to mine, and I <laughs> I kind of started strip mining, as is my nature in Minecraft, and got to this point and realized I don't actually need to mine that much, because I only need three buckets, as you can see. I already got the milk and the three buckets for the heat cake. And yet I have 16 extra iron and a lot more coal than that, and oh god, I spent way too much time in here. And uh, same goes for the wheat over here. I planted a whole lot and I only need three pieces. <laughs> I even bred an extra cow and an extra sheep. Or not sheep, chicken. Oh my god, where's my mind today? <laughs> yes, bread and extra chicken. There we go. Thank you, Klaus, for your egg. And uh, yeah, I should actually have all I need for the cake. I actually have had all I need for the cake for some time now. But, eh, oh well, what are you gonna do? So, I need the two sugar. There we go. One of these three eggs. The three milks. And, oh wait, no, the milks. Uh, oh god, I always forget exactly where things go on this. I haven't made a cake in a while. There we go. Excellent. And put those buckets back eat this apple I got from the trees that I cut down and boop there we go I got worried there for a second <laughs> okay so the test of skill is complete excellent I'm happy about that so all we have left is the intelligence and random various I think we're gonna do the random ones today. I think that will be fun. Why hasn't that closed? That should have closed. Hmm. Is there a skill one I forgot? Hold on one second. I actually don't wanna like go in and have this close the doors behind me. Uh, all right, so I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. Okay, yeah, that should be it. So why have these doors not closed? Oh, well, it's lit up. Let's move on. Oh, please say it worked. <laughs> Let's head on over here to random. And in this door, I guess. And let's see. Simply test which any warrior need to pass. Good luck. Okay, so we've got survive, relax, and become crazy. Let's do survive first. Eh, we don't need... There we go, we'll take that many stakes. Excellent. So what do I need to do? Oh, dear God, I'm gonna get shot to hell. Okay. Okay. Let's... Just run for it! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, wait, what the? Huh. Okay, there's a flaw in tripwires that I had no idea existed. I got shot over to the side here. And the tripwires don't set off when you're here. I had no idea. Well, this is going to be easy to survive. <laughs> that is a fundamental flaw in the tripwires. Because, yeah, that's... Okay, it kept shooting. Jeff, yeah, I click right there. Or there. Yep, get shot. Ouch. Okay, okay. Stop shooting now. But along the side... Huh. I had no idea about that. Okay, well, we we survived. That was a very easy test. Oh, and I lost my steaks. I should have just eaten them while I had the chance. There we go. All better. Now this one, relax. Oh, no. What's this one going to do? Oh, it's a lovely little room. We got a nice fireplace, some beds with some little flowers, some art, some steaks, nice colored wall. 
Oh. Well, I know what I need to do. I don't think it's very relaxing, but hey, it gave me a flint and steel and there's wool here, so bye-bye wool. <laughs> That's a fairly simple bit of any puzzle map. Ah, yes. Burn, my pretties, burn. Okay, and thus in comes the shovel with the sand here. All right, well, there we go. Well, relaxing was easy. I mean, really easy. Yeah, okay, I got to burn things, I'm cool. And click. Excellent. We, we have done that test. Really, and that? Wow, I'm already through two of the three randoms. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. That makes me worried for become crazy. And no, we say? I, oh God, I'm horrible at Spanish. Give me French, Italian, or German. Those are good ones. Well, I'm not exactly good. They're just, I know them better. Okay, so. What the world is this? Ah. Uh, okay, so we have a glass maze. A wooden pressure plate that I'm guessing will open this door to the button. So, what does this do? It threw a bottle of enchanting. Why did it throw a bottle of enchanting? Get in oh, oh wait, hold on. Oh, hey, I'd never really thought about that before. I, you know, the uh, orbs of uh, experience will kind of float towards you. But since there's this glass here, they can't actually get to me, even though their particles are spazzing out a little bit, and as if they were supposed to. But yeah, so we can have the experience follow us. But on that same note, though, can experience set off a wooden pressure plate? Huh. Well, I'm guessing it can if that is what is in this maze, unless there's some other part to it. Yeah, this is actually quite interesting. I never thought about that with the experience orbs. Come on, guys, let's move this way. You crazy little orb bastards. And, uh, all right. Let's see. Let's move over here. Up this way. Over. Don't want to lose any. How long do experience orbs last? I think it should be about five minutes or so, just like any other item. Then again, they're not really an item, they're a particle, but... Huh. I don't know. Well, we'll find now. We're almost there. It's kind of surprising, though, if these actually have weight. Do they? It's not opening. Maybe I've got a... Huh. Interesting. Do I need to, like, leave it now? Oh, oh, okay, apparently I d it does! All right, once I left it, oh, the experience is still trying to follow me. No, stay away, stay away. <laughs> okay, I had never thought about that. I, I, that's kind of strange that experience orbs have any sort of weight to it, but okay. Huh, and that was all the random tests. Exit. All right, well, that's, that's interesting. Okay, well, random is, comp it's not lighting up. Hold on a second. So wait, th this one over here, the door is still open, but it's lit up. And this one, the doors are closed, as they should be, but it's not lit up. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Hopefully that's just a little glitch. Because, yeah, I wouldn't like for it uh, to uh, not be working correctly, because I'm assuming I've got to complete all four to open up those doors. So yeah, all we have left is intelligence, and I have a feeling that one's going to take the longest because it's probably, you know, questions like you know, math or something. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But generally when there's intelligence in these sorts of maps, it's like weird questions and things like that. I'm still wondering why these doors aren't closing. Close, you fool. Close. No, you're not? Okay, at least you're lit up. You, on the other hand, you're not lit up. Hmm. But yes, intelligence we will save until the next episode. This one's gonna be a short one. I didn't realize random would be so short of a section. And the agility stuff, 
did take a while because you had like the parkour bit and the lava bit, which still I haven't figured out. And I've actually gone into creative mode and gone back there a few times and still can't figure it out. This area took a while just because it was quite long of things, especially the freaking fishing one. That one still annoys the crap out of me. Darn cats just kept eating the fish and not being tamed. Uh, but yeah, the skill one was very, very short. So I'm, I'm assuming that this one's going to be another long one purely because intelligence. It's probably going to be odd questions that I will probably fail miserably. But you'll have to wait until the next episode to figure that out. And then we will see what is beyond these doors. I'm excited about that. And I hope you are too and that you come back to join me to see what is behind the magical, mystical doors of the Temple of Ares. Uh, but yeah, until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. <laughs>